So is that it? Are we done? Well, one thing we didn't consider yet when designing our wireless link between Wena and UDOT is the 3D radiation pattern of our antennas. We only looked at the azimuthal pattern before when we were talking about directing the radiated power towards the other island. Here is an example 3D radiation pattern for a Yagi Uda antenna. It has a maximum gain of 12 dBi. In this 3D radiation pattern, we can see that most of the radiation goes horizontally, as expected, in our case, towards Wena Island. But there's a second lobe here that sends quite a bit of power more in the downwards direction. Do we need to care about where this power goes? To get an idea of what can happen to the power going in other directions than our line of sight, let's consider an example. For this example, we're going to use two half-wave dipoles, since we've already derived the far electric field expressions for a half-wave dipole. Also, we already know the directivity for a half-wave dipole, which will be helpful. In this example, say we have two vertically oriented lossless half-wave dipole antennas that are directed towards each other and they are separated by a distance of 5 kilometers. If the transmitting antenna is driven by 50 megahertz current with a normalized amplitude of 2 amps, let's first determine the received power given that the directivity of a half-wave dipole is 1.64 and I've also given you the electric field, far field expression for a half-wave dipole. 